Hi, this is Rishi with Flying Card. I'm going to show you how to configure your custom domain with GoDaddy for your Flying Card store. So I've logged into GoDaddy. I've already logged in, and I'm going to click on my account. So that'd be step one. Step two will be click on your domain right here into the domain section in GoDaddy. And what's going to do is going to open up a domain manager. And then what we want to do is you want to scroll down. Uh, let it load for a second. We want to scroll down and you want to click on DNS Manager, launch under DNS Manager. I'm going to launch up, give it a second, and we want to scroll down then under CNAME, we want to scroll down and we want to add actually, we want to do a quick add, www and hit stores.blindcart.com and then we want to click on save zone file and hit OK. Wonderful. So it takes about an hour to get that zone file set up. But that's not going to stop us from moving on. So now we just want to verify that it's saved. So we want to type in www for the C name alias and we would want to type and we want to point it to stores.flyingcart.com just make sure you double check that it's spelled all right. It's S T O R E S dot flying cart dot com. F L Y I N G C A R T dot com. Uh, now we want to go back to dashboard. And actually, we want to go to domain manager up at the top. That was wrong. And then we want to click on this checkbox next to the domain that you have. And you want to click forward. And we want to hit forward domain. Now we kind of already set this up, but what you want to do is you want to make sure that top notch extensions or your domain is forwarded to www.topnotchextensions. So this, this, so this means when someone goes to just top notch extensions or your domain.com, it gets sent to www.yourdomain.com. So the whole point of this is so that both your when someone types in www.yourdomain.com or without the www, they both go to the same place. So just make sure you set that up. Uh, if we want it, if, if it's usually this isn't by default, this isn't added. So you want to add in the www dot and hit OK. Now the next step is to go into your flying cart store. Um, so we're kind of done with GoDaddy. You want to go into your flying cart store, click on settings, and then store. And then make sure in the custom domain section, you have your domain filled out. So whatever your domain is, you want to put it in the custom domain section. And then you want to scroll down and hit update settings. So that's it. Once you follow these steps, you will be able to get your custom domain. It should be up and running within 24 hours. If it's done, if it isn't, just send us an email at customer.support at flyingcart.com and we'll be happy to take care of it for you. Uh, just send us your information and we'll be happy to get your custom domain going. Thank you.